Hi everyone, thanks for checking out another InfoSec Hub video. Before I start this video, I want to be very clear and that this, is vi this video is all for educational purposes. This is all about the technique behind the Tor network and uh, how you can anonymize yourself and how you can uh, mitigate uh, certain risks. Um, so this video is about uh, peer-to-peer file sharing over the dark net. Um, and as you can see here, I'm connected here with uh, computers and the onion circuits. So I am connected to the Tor network. Uh, I always run that on the back just to see if I'm connected. Uh, I just checked my IP address and I got an IP back that's not mine. So I'm uh, connected to the Tor network and the exit node of the Tor network is showing me this IP address. Um, viewing this inside the Tor browser, this is the surface web. And this is the dark web because of this onion uh, address. So I can uh, connect to the surface web and at uh, the dark web uh, at the same time. This um, video is about peer-to-peer uh, -peer file sharing uh, or torrenting. Uh, and what comes to mind first is the Pirate Bay. And the Pirate Bay also has their own uh, website here on the onion address. So I can connect here with the IP that you saw, saw earlier and from a search and download of torrent perspective then i would be um, um, basically not sharing my own ip address uh, so i can do that quite anonymously i can download those torrents but the tor uh, browser is connected to the tor network the rest of the operation system is probably not connected to the tor network so if I would download additional software, which I can't do at the moment because of my setup, but additional uh, software could be a, a torrent, a, a lightweight torrent client, for instance. Then you also really need to make sure that the torrent client on your machine is also going through the Tor network. Otherwise, you will um, you know, only be able to download uh, torrents here uh, on this website anonymously, but then you still share your own IP uh, on the OS level, so to speak. So within the other application, your real IP will show up and only you're safe within the browser. Um, so there still need to be some tweaks on the operating system, which I will not go into here, but that's another project that I want to do because I want to make sure that my whole operating system is connecting to uh, some sort of proxy server. And that's a project that will uh, upload to this channel soon. But what can you learn from this uh, so if you really want to be anonymized and uh, look for a torrent then you can do it here on this onion address if you also want to download torrents through the dark net it's possible but it's quite slow plus uh, your connection just like any other peer-to-peer -peer network you will uh, also share your upload with other people that are downloading that's how the that's the concept of a peer-to-peer -peer network uh, and especially torrents um, so it is possible to download uh, torrents through the dark net, but it's extremely slow. Um, I saw something earlier here. Let's see if I, it's, it's here. I remember something. IRC. Mm. Oh yeah, here. Peer-to-peer -peer file sharing. Running peer-to-peer -peer protocols within Tor requires Onion Cat. So th let's see if I have that here as well. No, this is Onion Share or something else. So we have all these kind of Onion applications. Let's see if I can open this. For peer-to-peer -peer services. Important. It's possible to use Tor for peer-to-peer. -peer. However, if you do, the right thing must also be done by giving back bandwidth that's used. Otherwise, if this is not done, Tor will be crushed, taking over everyone along with it. Basically, um, Tor is already quite slow. Um, it's not as fast as the surface web and you need to give back if you want to use peer-to-peer uh, -peer file sharing on this, uh, on this network. It is possible though. Onion cat address, list for Tor backed, address space, G Nutella, BitTorrent client, yes. Onion cat, BitTorrent. So, okay. 
So there is an Onion Cat BitTorrent client uh, that can connect to this Onion um, circuits, the one I've been showing you earlier. Um, but uh, BitTorrent need to be uh, set up correctly. So for instance, you have a download speed of 60% and an upload speed of 30, just to make it sure that it's possible. And um, you have to give back to the community, so to speak. So yes, it is possible to use peer-to-peer -peer protocols on the dark net. It is possible. However, it will not be fast. And only using this Tor browser with Onion circuits is not enough to completely hide yourself away, hide your identity. You should actually run a VPN first, then start up this Onion circuit, and then fire up the Tor browser to give an extra layer of uh, protection, basically. Um, so this video was to find out if it's possible to do peer-to-peer -peer file sharing on Darknet. It is possible. Uh, I will not go into the details on how to set it up or something. Um, I just, again, this is for educational purposes. Uh, next year, I will release a video on how to set up, uh, for instance, your uh, Ubuntu machine or any other uh, operating system and then connect not not only in the browser but also on the operating system level so all applications that connect to the internet that will be provided with another ip address than yourself and that way you can download um, for instance uh, torrents um, again that's uh, called a proxy server and it's also not going to be the fastest solution so i mean we live almost in 20, 2020 so um, there are better alternatives out there than peer-to-peer -peer and torrent, of course. This is something from the early 2000s, but it's still possible. Um, sometimes I, you know, I'm, when I want a tutorial on something and I can't find it anywhere else, I, I always do a search here. And, um, you know, there's still a lot of content out there, but it's, uh, it's illegal. It is illegal, so... If you have to do that, then it's best just to hide your real identity, right? And also, I mean, don't download many gigabytes of data. I mean, a couple of hundred MBs, that's all fine. Um, and when you talk about new music or new movies, I mean, there are plenty of uh, streaming alternatives out there that utilize your full bandwidth better. Um, uh, better quality. And also, we still, this is, this is illegal, so... I mean, this is maybe a no-brainer, but sometimes people download operating systems on here. And there will be people in uh, on the other side of the line that uh, maybe implement uh, a RAT or uh, spyware or any any nasty stuff that you can put in an operating system. Then make sure that it's, uh, you know, it's it's they create an ISO, they upload it here, and you're downloading it, installing it. And before you know it, you have a hacker or somebody having access to your system. That will never happen in the real world when you buy it through Microsoft and stuff like that. So I just want to want to say this. Uh, this is nice that it still exists. It's nice that you can do it uh, anonymously, yes. But uh, there are better services out there. This is just to show you guys that it's possible and that the Pirate Bay is, is gone on the ground, so to speak. On the surface web, they still have a website as well. Uh, but you you need at least VPN to connect to that one. And there's a difference between uh, accessing uh, this website and then opening the torrent later on another application. You also need to make sure that that application runs through some kind of VPN, uh, proxy, or maybe through the dark web to the torrent network. So thanks for watching, and uh, we hope to see you guys in the next video.